guys, this is Todd Stone from Central Oregon Survival Network coming at you again. Hey, today I want to talk to you and do a video about homemade armor. Well, this will be my homemade armor project, basically. And this will be the, probably the first video of many. Uh, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Like I said, it's an experiment. Some of it is based off of some of uh, some other people's different reviews of like penetration tests on phone books. I'm not just going to do phone book, you know, and stick it out there and shoot it. We're actually going to step it up a notch and, and try an experiment, you know, and see how it works out. And it is based off of the phone book theory. And these are actually thinner phone books than, than your larger, larger ones. The reason why I picked these is so that I can stack them up if I wanted to. And the concept behind the homemade armor, and you might be thinking, this guy's nuts. He's trying to make armor. What for? But you never know. You know, and it's, it's, it's a fun project, why not, right? So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the foam books and I'm actually gonna soak them in wallpaper paste. And the, the theory behind it is I'm actually gonna take them out, I'm gonna compress them between two eighth inch, well, it doesn't matter what size steel I use, but I'm gonna compress them and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna bake them in an oven. So, basically, hopefully creating a solid one piece plate which is, was a phone book. Then I'm going to take the phone books and we'll do a close up here. And then I'm going to take the two phone books and, and you can make this whatever size depending on, on what you need it for. And Well, we'll see if it works anyway. So what we'll do is we're going to take two phone books and I'm actually, after these become hopefully hardened bricks, we're going to put the phone books in between two pieces of, well, first we'll set our eighth inch plate steel and we're going to actually harden that. and. It's so kind of a poor man tempering. You're going to heat it up, flash it, heat it up, and flash it. Uh, before we do that, of course, we drill holes in it because after you flash it and harden it, it, became, it becomes kind of hard to do. So, what we're going to do is, is we're going to get the plate of steel, put our foam books down, and here's where we kind of step it up a little bit and it comes into the theory is we're going to actually going to add, I'm going to weld these together. I got a whole bunch of angle iron pieces, and it might not be this exact size, we'll see. And I'm actually going to weld them all up into one long plate to cover the phone books. Then after we're done with that, we're gonna take another piece that we've hardened of eighth inch and we're gonna put it on top and we're gonna harden that eighth inch piece also. Now, the theory that I'm thinking is, or the concept, is when the bullet hits the plate, hits the angle iron, I want the bullet to change or to stabilize and also change its trajectory so that it hits into the phone book hopefully sideways and then of course you know geometry you got more space you know instead of going through a smaller space it's going to be going through a longer space at an angle so in theory we're going to harden all the plates of steel all the steel that we're using we're going to harden after of course we drill it uh, for our bolts to bolt this all together we're also going to bake the foam books and we're going to make those hopefully into the hardened plates i've never done it before but we're going to try it actually we got them right here and we're going to get ready to actually bake them here in a minute and then we're going to assemble it all and I might I might actually if it does come out to a nice brick I'm going to actually just do a penetration test to show you guys the difference between just a regular foam book and one that's actually been baked and made into a plate which I don't know if it's going to going to work like I said it's an experiment so we're going to try it out and I'll let you know if it fails or not fails then like I said, put that on there, throw the plate on, bolt it together, and we'll shoot it with various different calibers of weapons. We'll end up using, we'll end up using uh, everything from a 22 to a 223. Now, of course, the 223 is the one that, uh, you know, larger caliber rifles that we want to stop the bullet from. You know, and the big one is, of course, the military grade 223 green tip armor piercer. And that will be our, our final test to see if we can stop that bullet. I'm pretty sure, not positive, but I'm pretty sure that it will stop most pistol ammunition, but I'm not positive. And that's why it's an experiment. So thank you for watching, and I'm sure you're going to have comments and go, you know, well, I don't think that'll work, or hey, it could be a good idea. So, hey, shoot them to me, and if you have some suggestions to add to it, to take away, let me know. And uh, I thank you for all your support and everything you do. This is going to be the Homemade Armor Project, video one. So look for the next video, and I'll link them all together. And in the description block, I'll basically kind of describe my concept. 
Anyway, thank you very much, and I will catch you on the flip side.